Goat, Shen, Amumu, Corky from the blue side, and Oriana Vi coming up from the right side. Uh, yeah, not much to say about the bands. Corky, Jinx, uh, banning away from the ADCs. Uh, both strong players and uh, both really competent Corky players, so good band from that side. And then Jinx Jest again, new champion, a little overpowered, but most the uh, teams might not know how to play against her quite yet. Purple side going straight for the Zyra and the Renekton picks, both very strong in their, in their lanes, top and support. Yeah, and uh, we see Urbanized Spy picking up Nocturne, uh, a champion both he and Dr. Flambe play. So just taking it away from uh, that doctor, who uh, is not a real doctor, he's a fake. Never let him tell you otherwise. <laughs> I'm very curious to see who the next two picks can be. I was talking to some of them earlier and they say both t both these mid laners both play Swain and Swain's a very strong, pre he's a pretty strong pick mid lane. He can shut down a lot of the really good carries like the Kassadin and the Ari especially. Very good against those two champions. Yeah. Uh, they're taking quite a bit of time here deciding. Um, probably not wanting to show their hand quite yet. Uh, might pick up the support. And his support. And, and uh, there's the Cassidy. Right on. Yeah. So we got uh, Fiddlestick support being hovered over. That's locked down almost. Uh, it might be a jungler, but. Maybe a sport, maybe throw Zyra mid or something like that. I really like to see that <laughs> and any support would be nice. Just going through a wide selection of champions here. Got the Shaco, Warwick, Middle East, no. Janna. Not sure Warwick would be quite locked in. <laughs> Alright, and then there's the Fiddlesticks. Yeah, so maybe Zyra. Jarvan. Jarvan's very good job there at the moment. Yeah, so probably Zyra mid, Fiddlesticks bot. Yeah. Um, Zyra versus Kassadin. I could see Zyra doing very well, especially pre uh, before Kassadin hits the six. He won't be able to farm very well, especially if he gets the early binds or anything like that. And the plants will do a lot of damage to Kassadin. He won't be able to, again, he won't be able to farm. And uh, locking in Twitch there. So a lot of burst damage coming from that bot lane with the Annie Twitch. And the Jack's pick. That that will be nice for a very <laughs> good late game champion if he gets rolling. They don't have an ADC yet though, so oh, yeah. could be a bruiser bot. And I'm yeah. just getting too excited from the Jack's pick. <laughs> yeah, and there's the Ezra. Oh. So yeah, both these teams, these are some of the best teams here. Unfortunately, yep. both the, I would say, top four teams at least yeah. got placed against got placed against each other first round. So both teams were pretty sour about that. Yeah, it should be a pretty good match though. I'm glad to see it early on in the tournament. And maybe we'll see it again in the finals, depending on how these two or the team that loses goes through the goes through the loser bracket. Yeah, and then well, come back up. Yeah, both these teams are very high level as well. Hold on. So uh, we have Nocturne, Annie Support, Cassid in mid, Zach top, and uh, Twitch as the ADC for the blue side. And for the purple team, uh, Samuel's going to be on Ezreal, Jarvin, Fupus uh, is going to be fiddle six support. Renekton top and Arthon is going Zyra mid against the Cassadin. Uh, uh, depending on where the lanes go, obviously, but yeah. most likely they'll just do standard lanes, I think. I could see either one of these teams trying to throw the ADC and support mid or top lane. It's nice to see some of that. Not much people do it at the lower levels. Or yeah. Most people in the, in the tournaments that come here, they don't really do that at all. Yeah. And now the long, boring delays that we always seem to have. Um, again, this is the Edmonton, what, what are we calling this tournament? Edmonton LOL Open here at Overclock Gaming. Yeah. Yeah, that's the tournament. Yeah, that's correct. Right on. <laughs> I got the tournament name right. 
Um, we're streaming the first, second game. Second game of yeah. the the bracket, the first round bracket. Yeah, this is the first game of this bottom half of the bracket. After this, I think we'll be sticking around, casting the winners bracket, and just let the losers bracket just play out. Yeah, I think that's how the best way to go about it. Um, well, yeah. Uh, if you guys are interested in coming down to watch it at Overclock Gaming, it's always fun times. We have couches set up, there's snacks and yeah, drinks. Yeah, set up on a big screen TV. Um, about the bot lane, I'm kind of curious to see how that's going to go. Uh, exhaust is being taken by the purple team and Ignite by the Annie. The Annie's going to have a lot of bursts as soon as they get level 6, but I could see Zyra being able to zone on Twitch fairly well. Twitch doesn't have the, the longest attack range but he gets caught by an early binder and they could be a lot of trouble for him especially with uh fiddle six fear i'm th yeah. i'm thinking you're, you're, i think mind, i'm thinking the Zyra support I'm yeah never mind <laughs> uh so the fiddle sticks uh accounted to that annie pick just because he's got the silence and the fear so even if annie does get a stun off um is it going to be able to fear or silence twitch to um, kind of mitigate that burst damage um and Samuel picking up that cleanse as well to also keep him kind of safe from that yep. um, stun. Uh, Twitch not picking up the cleanse, uh, so the Fiddle Six Fear is going to last yeah. when it gets that full level. Later um, on, it's going to give him a lot of yeah. troubles. So we might see him pick up a Quicksilver Slash as one of his defensive items. If Most he likely, that three seconds be feared is kind of long. <laughs> but yeah, and then we see... Uh, my excuse is Zyra is usually a support, so it's my excuse. No, I'm I'm not blaming you. <laughs> it's early <laughs> or late, I guess. It's two thirty. It's not really early anymore. <laughs> I can't use that excuse. I was just trying to help you out. Yeah, that's all. Now, now I know. Yeah. <laughs> I swear, I, I know some things about this game. <laughs> I know a little bit. I do my best. I don't know much, <laughs> but I get a microphone to say whatever I want. <laughs> see my Facebook. You're gonna have a million friend requests. So the Zach pick, I don't know. I haven't seen Zach do that great. And he doesn't have a skin, so he might as well just go and bench himself. <laughs> He's letting his whole team down. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Zach top, pretty strong. Um, I think it's just going to be farming up top for quite a bit. They both have their own little islands. Um, both quite strong players, so... Um, Do you know anything about the top lane match about Zach and Renekton? I have no idea. I don't play top. Neither do I. Oh, All yeah, right, that's, that's awesome. I'm, I'm right. going to give it to uh, Renekton because I think he's a strong champion all the time. Yeah, he has a lot of sustain. Plus, he gets to be the lifeguard, so that's always fun. Yeah. Uh, so we see starts coming up. Uh, so um, both top laners up, uh, getting the Doran shield and pots. Uh, ADC is standard, just going straight for the Doran's blade. Yeah, um, uh, Renekton surprised. taking the Doran's shield. I think he might think there's going to be a 2v1 situation. Um, so just kind of get to help him out there. Because again, Zach having the Doran shield, yeah, not always so helpful. Um, but we do see them stacking in this tri bush in the bot. Um, but all of the red side going to their tribush up top lane and a pause. And a pause, that's great. Um, <laughs> so this wanted to, you know, know, say what's up. I, don't know, I know Zach is a good pick and everything, but I don't know. At least at my level, I haven't seen too much greatness come up from a Zach. But he has a lot of... He's he has a lot of CC, so I'll give him that. Right. So just a quick pause there, and we're good to go. Yeah, right back into it at least. Yeah. Right. So both sides. Um, looks like they're going to try to steal away the blue on the top side. And uh, yeah, we'll see if they just keep spinning and dancing. <laughs> <laughs> I find this movement. Uh, both, yeah, both teams just moving into that. Get nothing blue accomplished bush. other than above. Yeah. So 
so just mirroring each other's movements. Uh, we see the recall coming in from Sam and Fupus. Just go to head down to that bottom lane now. Yeah, and there's the recall from Zach, so you can get to that top lane for too much. You just want to lose too much CS or get any bit of a disadvantage early on. Oh yeah, so just gonna trade trade away blue buffs. Um, see if anything can happen after that. Uh, we oh. see Ezreal coming in. Doesn't just to try to see if there's anyone there. It doesn't won't be able to get anything out of that. <laughs> Favorite oh good for blue team I guess. <laughs> so we see Nocturne clearing out the jungle camp, but J4 not quite clearing out their blue, so they won't know the timer of that. Yeah. Um Nocturne might try to do more invades knowing the time. And we see Fufus with the stun. And first blood goes to the ignite from Annie. Uh, so a little careless by the fiddlesticks there. Um, got stunned up. And then flash is also burnt. Yeah. To get to secure that kill. <coughs> so we're going to have a hard time doing anything without uh, fiddlesticks there to help him out. Just going to be able to poke back by his tower. Yeah, I'm surprised Nocturne hasn't even gone to his blue buff yet, yeah, even though that they did see the invade and it's in the jungler. That he didn't even go to check his blue buff. And yeah, it will be on a very long cooldown now at this point before they can give it to their Cassidy. Yeah, I think he might have just assumed that it got cleared. But, uh, Dr. Right, Fombe. game coming in middle. Yeah. And there, you know, there's nothing going to be able to be done. So we see the aggression coming from this bot lane of Twitch and Annie. Yeah, they picked up the first blood. I'll give them... Makes red team a little bit more, more scared than they might need to be. But again, that first blood will give them quite a bit of an advantage. Annie sword in the dragon pit. But the Jarvan can just get over through right here. So maybe a ward in there would have been a better choice or whatever. <laughs> All right. All right, the top lane, the we're actually taking a, ver, uh, a bit of an early advantage with just three, three CS, and looks like Gang's actually going to be coming up here. Yeah. Watch that Jarvan gank bot move for me. So there's the Nocturne. Uh, is going to be able to slice away, but is going to get feared up. Fear. And the fear does go the right way. And not oh. able enough to, not quite enough damage to be able to take it, take them out. Yeah. And there's the j jump over from Jarvan that I was talking about. And it will be able to get the gank in here. They're not too careful. Jarvan just sweeping around. And yeah, no wards. They only had one ward down. Yeah. Here it comes. That there's the knock up from onto Zillarium. And he's taking a lot of damage. He might go down to this Ezreal. And yeah, he's going to. And they do focus Samuel taking a lot of damage himself, but the Twitch in a lot of trouble himself. Pops the barrier, and he's going to be able to get out of it, no problem. All right, so successful gank by the J4. Um, they knew they wanted to focus down that support. Um, yep. And we see Nocturne and Zach doing a lot of damage up top here. Um, taking that tower to about uh, three quarters health. Um, yeah, they added. They will be able to dive this. Um, yeah, so it looks like going for it. just needs to... I'm just trying to zone him away from the tower. Yeah. Alright, there's the fear coming in. He does get fear there. Taking a lot of damage, gets the ignite off, but no... He is going to be able to live, no problem. Uh, <laughs> barely, he's in no problem. Right. So he does have to use his flash, um, but Zach does use his uh, flash ignite to try to secure that kill. Yeah. Bot lane blue team is going to... They did have that bit of an early advantage with uh, Annie, but since Ez did pick up that kill and he is fired have CS, it's really going to be turn. They really are going to be able to turn around that bot lane now. Uh, and a little bit of counter jungling going on from the Nocturne there, taking away those wraiths. Uh, as J4 had to stay up top and clear those minions off the tower. I hit this cast and... Well, he's doing fairly well for what I thought. Or, yeah. As he takes a lot of damage like that. <laughs> <laughs> so he's uh, he's going to have to go back, most yeah. likely. Yeah. And I don't, I'm surprised he didn't start a flask. 
against uh, the amount of poke that uh, Zyra will have against him. Yeah, I think he started a lot of pot in the uh, ward. Yeah. Uh. Jarvan has by taking a good, a lot of damage himself, but he's going fine. Jarvan actually coming in for another gank bottom. It is ward at this time, so we'll be able to see it, but we'll be in time. Yeah. Yep, we're able to get uh, out of there pretty safely. Safe. And then we see uh, Renekton going aggro on the Zac up top, but uh, just winning that trade fairly handily. Yeah, Zach doesn't have a whole lot of killing potential early game. Good thing he has under him is that he can't he can't really get dived too easily from the Renekton because he does have that passive. Yeah. Doing whatever, whatever little he can to be able to poke him down as well. Yeah. Zyra's going to be able to get this blue buff. And it's like Kassin's going to start roaming now that he has level 6. Now he's just going back to lane. Then we see uh, Jarvan coming down again to the bot lane, but Nocturne is also 6 now, I believe. Yeah, he's 6 now and he's going in for the, the gank right, as well. There comes Annie with the stun, he get, gets the fiddlesticks, but here comes the Jarvan and he's starting to run away. Delirium gets knocked Nocturne. up again, there's a lot of damage kind of going on to him, Samuel trying to get focus him down. Where Dr. Flambe is very low, he is gone, he falls to, doc, uh, to Urbanized Spy, and now they're chunking away on Sammy, who's forced the flash out of there, and there's the flash from the Fiddlesticks as well. All right, so good, uh, successful counter gank by uh, Nocturne there. And uh, Kassim is uh, Nice and patient, too. and he didn't have to use his ult. Yep. And Kassim, yeah, again, roaming down bot. Very nice play on the on, from the blue team. Yeah. Zerim looking looking to come in for with another little bit of stun. He pops the ult on him, and there's a dive from Samuel, or from and Urban Spy, and he's might fly to Foo. No, he was not going to follow the Foo Boost. Yeah. So a uh, good fear to keep him under the tower for a bit longer, but not able to secure that kill. Yeah. Uh, good uh, combination of the ults there from. Yeah, you really got to be careful. You really got to have someone constantly looking at or the stack counts on Annie for the stun. Yeah. Especially when she gets Tibbers, it's a lot of, as you can see, a lot of damage came out. Yeah. So we see uh, the blue side here taking a bit of a gold lead and uh, has that kill lead. Gold lead, not that much, so uh, red yeah. side really CSing hey, yeah, well. Red. Yeah, they're blue time, yeah. Alright, now Fankara is forced to back the urbanized will or why am I? Renekton. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Renekton will be able to just put a little pressure under this tower as as well. The mid tower is going to be going down as well. <laughs> and there's not too much casting can do. And he is out of mana. Especially because he's out of mana. Yeah. Yeah. And this so they're able to take the turret or leave one hit left. Um, oh, the minion should be able to, uh, to take that out. Yeah. One hit. There you go. And red team taking the gold advantage. <laughs> so even though they're behind on kills, they are getting uh, the objective that they need. Uh, taking that mid tower down does reduce the vision of blue side quite a bit. So good on them for focusing that. And Renekton, again, just getting a little bit tankier. Grabs that Negatron cloak, and he's going to be looking to uh, just out sustain in that top lane. All right, so bottom lane, after that, not too much going on. And that Twitch has two assists um, and has a two CS lead. Um, it's actually behind for the most part. Yeah. I see him climb back up there. It has the pickaxe and the boots. And Ez is just going to be going for that Triforce. We see Delirium there just holding that stun. Does have Tibbers nice up as well. actually going on to the support. Or no, sorry. The <laughs> mid lane, Zyra. Yeah, Zyra's taking a lot of damage. Almost going down. And there's the sweep up from Nundo going in there. He might... An uh, Urbanized Spy is just pick up the kill. Oh, uh, so, uh, just getting caught out there. That ward really helping out yeah. Nocturne. Now that Renekton's seen their jungler, he is... He was doing a lot... Got, getting a lot of free damage in on that turret booth. Yeah, knows he's pretty safe. No jungle and, pressure. Uh, <laughs> so Renekton is able to do just a lot of damage on this top tower. Uh, won't be able to take it out, but... 
probably one or two more waves if he doesn't get some help. Yeah, and Kassen's actually roaming bottom for for a gank, and they do see him, and the Jarvan is there, but he's just going to back out for now. Uh, Syrah actually looks like he's actually going to be heading back to the mid lane now that I see Kassen back there. Yeah. So we see Nocturne down bot lane as well, but... And Kassen's actually going to roam top and try to deal with this uh, Renekton problem, but it's maybe a little bit too late now that he has that Negatron yeah. cloak. It's not going to be doing too much damage to him, and this tower is already gone. Yeah. So he's able to take that tower. So again, just keeping the objectives. And there's the engage. There's the Ignite going down on the Renekton already for the ult popped, and Renekton does get away with the double dash. Uh, there's a slow from Van Kara. Noodle pops in there, does some more damage. Uh, I doubt this. There, yeah, yeah they're just gonna stop chasing uh, after Nudo already burnt his alt. Yeah. And looks like Jarvan's gonna be coming down for another gank. Yeah, just realizes that bot kind of needs his presence more. So um, I guess they're doing just fine. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, looks like their mid laner, uh, Zyra. That turret down is real well to roam a bit. Uh, Nundo actually doing, taking a lot of damage himself, and Urbanized Spy. Uh, Nundo actually picks up the kill, yeah. which he really needed. Urbanized Spy doesn't need it anymore. He's already got what? Two. Yeah, he's got two, but it's way better on the mid laner than the jungler. Yeah. So uh, Jarvan just a little bit too late to the party. Yeah. All right, the Jarvan going back on the Nundo. Sorry, I missed a bit of that. Okay. Nundo almost falls himself. Nervonized Spy is dealing with Dr. Flambe very effectively. Taking yeah. the tower hits, and that'll be another kill. Yeah, yeah most that'll be another kill. Oh. And he misses the Q, but he is going to be able to pick that He's going to go down home. anyways. Uh, so Zach would have been sweeping down for that anyways. So Yeah, uh, J4 thinking that he uh, could just burn that, cast it and out, but uh, not doing enough damage. And then Urbanized Spy All right, sticking around. coming in. Uh, he might get caught by two people. If he's not yeah, he's just gonna back away. Uh, Surprise! The gold advantage still is in red team with their, s yeah, with or CS advantage. Even though, yeah, they are down six one, unfortunately. Yeah, but uh, they again, they're keeping their eyes on the objectives. Yeah. Um, what blue side is failing to do is turning those kills into, to anything other than just a kill. They're not getting any towers off of them or. Um, not using their advantage for dragon. Yeah, a big part of that is that quite a big, uh, it's about a 30 CS difference between Zyra and Cassidy. With that range advantage, Cassidy again is very weak. Yeah. And I missed a, a gank. It's not that great. Uh, so Cassidy going pretty aggro to get that fiddle sticks, but J4 and Zyra were both down bot lane. Okay. Um, and were able to help out. Uh, they trade one for one, but the support for the mid lane. Um, Urban I Spy is able to get that mid tower now. Yep, and here comes Jar Jar Uh Urban I Spy is out of man. He gets that spell shield down, but he still gets knocked up. They're and trying to sweep around, I guess. He's going to run into Vankara, and Sarah's trying to get in there as well, but Urban I Spy is just going to be able to get away. Yeah, so just pressuring them off, but not able to turn that into any kills. Yeah. The Twitch actually has 2.5k right now. It's just sitting there. And the Nocturne actually had... You know, he just went back and got spent a bunch. But And yep. red, red Team is going to be able to pick up a Dragon for free. Yep. They know uh, they pushed uh, Nocturne back. And Nocturne was had, had no mana. So the good call on them to get that objective. The only thing you do is a Flash Smite. But that's pretty risky. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, again, Purple Side keeping that gold lead. Even though they're down 5 kills. And their uh, objective-focused game really coming into yep. to play here. No turrets. Are actually, uh, red team actually. No, sorry. Blue team actually has one, only one turret down, and red actually destroyed two already. So, yeah. Again, the objectives winning it, coming in their favor a bit. I think in team fights, this this game could go kind of either way. Yeah. Um, the fiddlesticks Renekton combo is kind of. An annoyance there. Yeah. Uh, Throw Arthon is going to be able to use that Zyra ult to disengage when uh, he sees that let's bounce or the Nocturne ult coming in on him. Um, yeah. Especially the, yeah, there's a lot of team fight potential from the red team. Yeah. But K for Kimchi doing a good job of staying ahead of his Zach. Um, picks up that spirit massage. Yeah, he's 21 he CS ahead of him. Yeah. Yeah. 
and uh, we just missed the tail end of that with the fiddle six alt going in, uh, not can managing to do any damage or connect with anything. You know, mate. I uh, know. Just failed to do a little bit of poking. Here comes the alt from the knockdown onto the Renekton. Renekton is going to try to get to this wall to get over again. Try to use his flash. Oh, Vankara actually goes over the wall himself, so he's going to be able to chase him down, but Vankara is getting very low himself. And there's an, uh, the Ignite M from the Renekton. Both guys falling very low. Vankara does have that passive up, so he, will, he won't have to he's worry about that too much. And Kamchi barely gets away. Uh, the Urbanized Spy trying to dive as well. And here comes the Kassin, and Kassin picks up the kill. <laughs> very nicely done by Blue Side. And in the meantime, uh, Jarvan went bottom, but nothing came in their favor out of that. Uh, looks like they're just going to try to push this tower down, knowing that there was three top just now. Yeah, they're going to get the tower. And it looks like Cyrus going to be rolling bottom as well. Or, yeah, going to be roaming bottom as well. Yeah, but she's going to walk over a few wards so they know that she's coming in. Uh, Cassidy and also heading that way. And now, uh, Fiddle Six, he's going to be able to pick up, pick off all the blue sides ward now that he has the oracles. And Nundo actually chasing down the Zyra, but there's the Fiddle Six. He gets the bind on him, and there's the silence. Not too. Cassidy still gets, he still gets out, and he does pick up the kill on the Zyra, and the Jarvan goes on him. But <laughs> is probably going to be able to get out of there. Yep. Uh, I don't know, I'm stuttered. Alright, so Vankara almost picking up the kill on, on Samuel, but looks like he might be able to get away. Uh, so far going two for two. The minions might do just enough damage there. Nope. Uh, oh, here Cassidy comes is Nindo. coming as well. Uh, so it does look and like the they're going to try to dive. And they just burst it the heck out of Fiddlesticks. Okay. <laughs> and Samuel barely getting out of there. Yeah, so going three for two. Yeah. The problem about Cassidy is that you can shut him down in the lane, but if he starts getting kills, which he is, he becomes quite a big problem. He's now 6 and 1. Wow. 15k just sitting there. And Renekton's just still on this island top lane. Yeah. Very nice plays by the blue side there. Yep. Yeah. Again, managed to get a few more kills. Not able to get that bot tower, though. Yeah. Um, but they do have top and middle turret now. Uh, so again, taking that gold lead finally away from the red side. Yeah. Yeah, able to get a couple towers under their belt as well and almost be able to take down the bottom one. Yeah, looks like Dragon uh, is going to come up right away here. Yeah, in a minute. Uh, just under two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Jar Jarvan trying to come in here. The Twitch is going to die. There's nothing yeah. he can do against five He's people. All alone. And, and he goes, and Fupus yeah. actually gets the kill, unfortunately. Uh, so probably not who they want to get the kill to, but no. uh, as long as he's dead, they are going to be able to get this dragon and maybe this bot tower as well. Fiddle Six is still able to clear those wards. And Cass is just going to throw mid as hard as he can. Yeah. And while Fupus and Kemchi are going to try to come back, yeah. there's the ult coming from the other room. They're going to be able to clear some of the minions and keep him from pushing too much further. Uh, looks like he's just going to be able to do a bit of damage. Uh, they do get that bottom turret, and yeah. Dragon is going to be up in a minute, so they aren't going to be able to contest that just yet. Yeah, they really don't. Yeah, they really don't want them to be able to, for that much people bottom, they really don't want to be able to trade one for one tower. Yeah. Would not really be too worth it for red side at that point. Yeah. And everyone's going to go back and just prepare for Dragon. Uh, so despite the the kill lead, quite a close game. Uh, yep. A lot of good. Even with the C, like we're dead even right now. Yep. They're 11 to 5. And now that casted and got all those kills, he is starting to catch up to Zyra very quickly in the farm. <laughs> and the Ez and Twitch are neck and neck. Only two CS uh, separating them two. Just the Zach's still the furthest behind by around 20. And so Twitch is going to pick up that red buff. And Dragon's going to be up in 13 seconds already starting to head over there. Yeah, so we're going to see this team fight right away here. Oh, Delirium almost getting caught, and it looks like Dr. Flambez might want to go over the wall. Uh, Vankara taking quite a bit of damage himself. Uh, here comes Samuel. Now they will be able to fight with their AD carry in the mix now. And the dragon is down down there. Red Seam is starting to poke at it. And here comes the engagement from Vankara. 
Uh, Desire all coming down. Delirium taking a lot of damage himself. Sam is very safe in that back. Now he is engaged on. And Vankara is going to get his pops. Or is passing to get popped. And Los Paneros is doing a lot of damage to Fufus. But he has that Jarvan on him now. And it's turning into a 4v1. <laughs> and he's... He does pick up a kill at least, and Urbanized Spy and Nundo need to get out of here, not die. And they're gonna be able to do quite a bit of burst onto Samuel, and there's the- they might be able to get two here, but there's just not enough mana. And then Nundo actually diving back in, he does get the shutdown, and he doesn't quite get the kill before he gets taken down by the Renekton. Yeah, the Renekton gets the shutdown as well. Yeah. Um, Urbanized Spy gonna be able to get away here. Uh, yeah. And Top Tower getting pressured down a lot, so I think we see J4 just head up there with some home guards. Or doesn't have the home guard yet, but yeah. should be heading up there to push that huge wave down. Even with all that, there's only 4k gold, or 400 gold lead. Yeah, so good team fight. Uh, got the advantage early. Stuck around a little too long and let that bed cast and get a couple more kills in there. Yeah. yeah cast and got one more in that fight. A couple of them went to Twitch, actually, I think. Yeah. He's got two kills under his belt now. Well, as has well, actually as has six, so yeah. it's not too good for blue side. Yeah, Ezreal was able to stay in the background for quite a long time and just do a lot of damage from back there. Yeah, uh, the Zyra ult kept him pretty safe. Yeah, that Zyra ult is big, massive area, especially in this tight of an area. All right, so they're actually taking a lot of damage. There comes the ult down. Yeah. Samuel picks up the kill, and that will be a free dragon for the most part. Just yeah, after the last fight, there's not too much blue will be able to do other than try to get a flash steal or try yeah. to smite steal it. So here so they are going to sweep around for that. And Urban has by dying right in. He actually gets the dragon, but that will cost him his life. The other, the rest of the blue team should just get out of there and try to protect this tower, which would, which what what they're heading over to start pushing. Yeah, so great smite steal by Nocturne there. Right, um, Nudo sees Flambe able to silence him, do quite a bit of damage to him. Yeah. <laughs> It looks like they just try to pressure this as five and get this um, secondary turret. Yeah, and he's up now, but it's just not going to be in time. Yeah. That tower going down really quick. All right, Vancare looks like he wants to fight. Uh, they did they did save the tower, which is good. If they just back in with the next one, that'd be really good for them. Yeah. And they're just going to try to pick up the wraiths. And it looks like Nuno wants to chase. Uh, taking, taking a bit of damage. Almost burst the uh, Fupu's down very, very quick. And... He almost ra runs him into Kemchi and Desira. This look like she's gonna have to burn a flash. And yep. So the Ezreal the all going down, just barely missing the Kassin in there. Oh wow, Kassin almost got very close. Nice. And it's very nice play on the blue side. Barely able to just save that turret. Only at 441 health. Yeah. So they did get the dragon. They lost uh, yep. the Annie and Nocturne, but. That's it, and they were able to save middle and Herbert there. So, yeah, great moment of or great few moments there from the blue side. Yeah, very worth it just just to sack Urbanize just to get that dragon away from the red team. And looks like blue might be able to pick up a turret as well. Yeah, that's will be close. All right, Kemchi looking like he wants to fight. Gets a stun on the the Twitch and the Annie being able to counter stun him to keep him off him, but they won't be able to take on the turn anymore. Yeah. While not, especially while Nocturne's pushing top, they might ha they're going to have to throw, either try to force a team fight or they're going to have to throw someone up there to stop him. And Nundo was backdooring himself, uh, not backdooring, he's just pushing mid. He is, he is a very hard champion to catch. They won't be able to do too much to him unless they get uh, some really hard CCs on him. Yeah. But he should be able to get away, no problem. Annie now is looking for a little bit of AP up to 63 to help her damage in the team fights. All right, Nundo getting engaged on. Uh, there's the stun in from Delirium. Nocturne Not is too much there damage. as well, but doesn't look like they're gonna go on the tank here. Yeah. Proud little, actually has 160 MR. This is still a lot of damage from the APs do going on to him. Yeah. <laughs> And a little bit of Pokemon back here, back and forth, as is top. So this, if they can try to chip down this tower, but they may be able to force them to fight, but they're going to back out, especially when they don't know where the Fiddlesticks is for the Crow Storm. And Nuno is just going to go grab his blue buff, and they're just going to go back and heal, I guess, and prepare for the next fight for Baron, most likely, or for Tower. 
So yeah, just to pick up their buffs and spend a bit of cash they have. Yeah. Twitch gets the uh, red buff. Yeah. And Urbanizer is gonna head top, clear that wave, get a get a good chunk of change for himself. Yeah. Now blue side does have a little bit, only two, only a hundred. Or now again, two hundred lead. Gold. Still very stupidly close. These game, this yeah. game is. A big difference from last game. Completely one-sided. Yeah. Sammy, uh, Fupu is looking to clear some wards, and they're going to try to reduce their amount of vision so they can get a nice engage on, so nice solid engage on to blue side, on, onto the blue team. Yeah, the vision control in this game is so key yeah. uh, to some of these pickoffs that they're trying to get. Yeah, well, that's how they got that. Uh, that's how they got the Annie, is yeah. just by ward coverage and him being a little bit too far out. Static Shiv and the IE coming in for Twitch. That makes him pretty powerful. And it's like Fupus is looking for an ult still. Blue team has to be very careful about this. Because they do have quite... A, eh, well, they have two squishy members. But still, that Crowstorm does do quite a bit of damage and it's free reign. Especially, like, the ult combination of the Zyra, Jarvan, and... Fiddle six has been deal, deal, dish out a lot of damage. Yeah, I don't know how well I don't know how well they're gonna try to siege this mid tower. Um, knowing that Fiddle six can just come in from the side as well as Renekton. Yeah. Uh, they're well aware that that's what they're trying to set up for. Mostly gonna. Uh, they're either gonna what they most likely got to do is try to split push as much as they can, which they did send the eighty carry down to do, and then he's gonna be able to get this tower for free while they just. Show presence mid lane, just keep most of them there, and now they are rotating the Renekton down, but it's too late. And the Urban by meeting up with Ken Ke Kemchi. And alts onto the Zyra. Zyra almost dies, but Urban is in a very bad position. Nundo gets in there and picks up a kill, and so does Van Kerr, picks up another one, and Fupus goes down very fast as well. And Kemchi and Flambe, the last two left, and Dr. Flambe is going to die to the uh, Twitch, Twitch just and being able to, be able to get away, and they're going to get they're, they're going to get two towers from this. They're actually Delirium getting a nice another stun, and they do and Twitch gets another kill on the Renekton. That's, and gonna that's be an ace, an ace, two turrets, and inhibitor for for nothing. Yeah, so great engage there by uh, Delirium on that Annie stun, getting oh, yeah. down Zara really low and letting that Nocturne all come in. Yeah, uh, Nocturne just not even dying when four people are focusing him down. Yeah, he was getting really low, but he had a life steal or something. I don't know. No, nope, just he uh, did. Tanky. He did his job. Get in there, disrupt people, and those players can eat that, and they're gonna see him going for dragon, but they're gonna get that no problem. Yeah. And then they're just gonna send Twitch bottom lane just to pick up that CS yeah. before the presence of the red time red team gets it, gets there. Or just gonna go back. That's you. Yeah. So we see blue side taking the advantage there, uh, finally getting a clear clear lead. And just awesome engage the Zach and Nocturne combination. Yeah, very close game to a 6k lead. That's, that's not bad for one team fight. Not bad at all. Yeah. Alright, again that bottom lane pushing. Sorry if you guys hear the background noise. It gets kind of loud in here sometimes. Alright, so for CS... Everyone in their lanes is very close to it. Zach did catch up to the Renekton. Both ADs are fairly even, and same with the mid laners. Uh, the mid laners is actually the biggest with about a 20 advantage. It looks like their red blue team is really going to try to fight here again uh, with the Fiddle Six not there. Uh, did Fiddle Six get a good Crow Storm last team fight? I wasn't. I didn't no. quite catch that. No. All right, they're just going to do the Baron Dance for a while now until they have to send someone bottom to deal with that minion wave. Which I'm really surprised that uh, the Twitch didn't try to go down there and clear that way before, but you know, they, they do have to send Nuno down there. As soon as Nuno shows presence, they're gonna, Red Team is going to really try hard to force the fight. Yeah. So we'll see what uh, Red Side can do here. Um, yep, now they're a little bit behind now. They're going to try to push down this middle and 
turret and uh, just have a straight up team fight. Yep. The red team's in kind of a, bit of a little bit of trouble here now with the blue team getting the uh, getting the advantage. Alright, the dance is continuing, not nothing really happening. Kassen's probably gonna go yeah, he's gonna rotate, get his blue buff and as is not there's he's gonna go grab this top lane. And then he's just gonna go gra grab red buff and I'll probably be engaged time. A lot of ward a lot of good ward coverage from the from the blue side. The uh, red team has no wards on Baron, so they could they gotta be very careful of that. Yeah. And there's Samuel getting the getting the blue buff, and it looks Correct. like they are pinging. Right, they do get, they are going to clear him. Bit of world of war. Here comes Fl Flambe. Bit of a mistake on his part, taking a lot of damage, almost going down himself. Vancara going right onto the Samuel, and Urban S5 is able to uh, chase down Flambe, and they're picking him up. And now there's no smite for blue, uh, for red team. Yeah, so smite down, but they also lost right, one of their, their big tanks. So this done. Uh, Zyra first they're down really quick. Hemchi is going to, or actually Sam is going to pick up the kill. Uh, Zyra <coughs> uh, hourglass is almost dies herself, and Vankara is going to be able to pick up that kill. Nundo uh, forced hourglass himself with that uh, uh, fiddle sticks ult, and Kenji still trying to barrel down on Nundo. Does pick up the kill, but Los Banderos was sitting in the back doing what he needs to do yeah auto attack people to death that twitch able to just <laughs> do damage and not take any back uh so great positioning by los panderos there yeah. and they are going to win this game um very tight for most part very that one team fight that really hurt them yeah so great game great game to Eric watch Flambe, um, try to Take down Urban S by just not enough damage and damage. Okay, I mean, the end of the game. if he was a real doctor, he might have been able to do something there, but <laughs> he's a fake. Uh, so, great game. Uh, we'll be back shortly with the s with next. With third, with third game, it should third. be starting really quickly. That was probably one of the longer games. And yeah. So most games go kind of short. Usually in these tournaments, they're kind of one sided, but this time it was actually a very close game, very nice. Yeah. And we'll. Be taking a brief bit break and see, uh, see you guys later.